Hi, I'm Prof. Johnny. Welcome to Goodwill Training and Assessment Center Incorporated. May kasabihan tayo na sa Diyos ang awa na sa tao ang gawa. So ano pa hinihintay natin? Tara na at gawa na tayo! Mount and center the workpiece in a forjo independent chuck, gripping one half of the total length of the workpiece. Mount a right hand facing tool bit in the tool holder and center it as high as the center line of the work. Face the end of the work square and use high RPM or spindle speed. Remove only the minimum amount of material required to square the end. Finish turn the 30 mm diameter to 30-35 mm length from the end. Use a right hand V-shaped tool bit with side rake angle and a right hand tool holder or a straight tool holder provided that the tool post is positioned 20 to 30 degrees toward the head stock. Thirty mm. Chamfer the corner of the work at one by forty five degrees. Mount a drill chuck in the telestock spindle and center drill the work. Use high spindle speed and center drill slowly to avoid breakage. Drill a hole 30 to 35 millimeters deep for the M6 by 1.0 hand top. Use the formula for the top drill size. TDS is equal to diameter minus the pitch. Okay. Switch off the machine and put its main spindle in the neutral position. Mount M6 by 1.0 hand top in the drill chuck. Use a tapered top first and bring the top into the hole of the work. Don't lock the telestock in the late bed. Rotate the chuck by hand for about 3 to 4 turns while rotating the telestock hand wheel very slowly. Loosen the drill chuck and move the telestock away from the work while the hand top remains in the hole of the work. Set the spindle of the machine to the lowest speed. Use top magic aluminum cutting fluid as a lubricant. Place the top wrench in the hand top and continue topping the work. Apply equal force to both handles of the top wrench while turning it clockwise one quarter of a turn and then turn it backward about one half of a turn to break the chip. This must be done with a steady hand to avoid breaking the top. Close supervision by the teacher is needed. Use the taper, plug, and bottoming top in that sequence when tapping blind holes. Mark the required total length, which is 75 mm. Reclamp the work with the other end, gripping 3 fourth of its length, and reface its end to produce the required total length. An initial marking for the total length before clamping can also be done. Oh. 
mount a drill chuck in the telestock and center drill the work. Use high RPM. Drill a 9mm diameter hole through the end of the first hole. Use a calculated RPM. Countersink the end of the hole 60 degrees. Reclamp the work, gripping at least 15 to 20 mm to allow machining of the threaded and tapered parts of the work. Note, protect the finish diameter with a piece of soft metal between it and the chuck jaws. Mount a live center in the telestock spindle and support the work. Mark 50 mm length from the end of the work for the parts to be tapered and threaded. Rough turn the two external diameters, the 25 mm diameter by 36 mm length and the 16 mm diameter by 14 mm length. Set the zero reference surface and feed 3 mm depth of cut. Starting with the larger diameter and progressing to the smaller. Apply the correct RPM, depth of cut, and feed rate for rough turning and use a roughing tool bit. The recommended cutting speed for aluminum is 120 meters per minute. Set the zero reference surface. Set the graduated color to zero and feed 2.5 millimeter depth of cut. Two roughing cuts. Another 2.5 millimeters depth of cut before the final or finishing cut. Finish turn the diameters to size and length. The 25 millimeter diameter by 36 millimeter length and the 16 mm diameter by 14 mm length. Starting with the larger and working down to the smaller, use the correct RPM, depth of cut, feed rate, and a right hand V shape or right hand facing tool bit for the finished cut. 25 mm diameter and 16 mm diameter. Okay, 14, 36, perfect. Let's proceed to taper turning. The calculated compound rest setting is 7 degrees. Loosen the compound rest lock screws and swivel the compound rest to one half the taper angle which is 7 degrees. Tighten the compound rest lock screws. Set the cutting tool to center with the tool holder at right angles to the taper to be cut. Tighten the tool post securely. Back off the top slide of the compound rest so that there will be enough travel to machine the length of the taper. Move the carriage to position the cutting tool near the start of the taper and then lock the carriage. Rough turn the taper by feeding the cutting tool using compound rest feed handle. Huh? 
finish turn and check the taper for size, diameter, and length. Insert a grooving tool bit in the tool holder and center it as high as the axis of the work. Cut a groove 3 mm by 1.5 mm deep. Use one third to one half the speed of ordinary turning operations. Thirteen mm. Chamfer the corners of the bigger diameter and the end of the work. Mount the round die holder in the telestock and the M16 by 1.5 round die in the holder. Bring the telestock near the work and lock the telestock in the late bed. Switch off the machine and set its main spindle in the neutral position. Rotate the chuck one to two turns by hand while rotating the telestock hand wheel until the first two to three teeth of the die cut the work. Loosen the lock screw of the die holder and move the telestock away from the work. You may also fabricate a special round die holder just like what I'm using. Set the machine spindle to its lowest speed. Mount the other round die holder with the die and lock. Continue threading the work. The technique for using the threading die is the same as with tapping. Strict supervision by the teacher is needed. Switch off the machine, neutral the spindle, then remove the work piece. Assemble the paper weight with pen holder. For a more detailed explanation and demonstration of late operations, please watch the tutorial video about late machines by Prof. Johnny.